Okay. So you've got um, where you've been spending a lot of time, uh, you know, maybe working in a group of people, uh, with a group of people or uh, in some kind of team. Uh, you know, you've been working pretty well with each other. Maybe you've been taking that kind of leadership role in it. Uh, and, uh, you know, you are moving forward. Uh, so there has been, you know, um, a lot of collaboration, speaking to a lot of people, exchanging a lot of ideas and uh, working pretty well within this group of people. Um, and, uh, you know, there has been uh, a success that has come in with this uh, particular um, uh, group that you've been working with. So working pretty well with them. Um, there are, uh, you have been um, dealing maybe with a little bit of um, problems as well. Maybe there have been people around you that have been uh, not behaving too, uh, too well. You might have been facing some legal problems as well with this particular card or legal matters involving your money. Uh, so something, um, you know, there might have been some loss as far as finance goes. Uh, altogether, you know, all in all, you are working pretty well with these people, but, you know, there are some kind of problems um, uh, around you uh, that you are trying to um, to deal with. Uh, so there's always a bad egg over there. There might be some slander that is going on over here. So some, there might be some gossip going on behind your back, and you might be having some financial problems as well. Um You've got uh, the need to actually get some advice from somebody uh, who is, um, you know, this is about making plans to uh, to travel, but also getting advice uh, to get you out of any kind of situation that you've been involved in that involves your finances. So maybe getting that kind of advice to move forward and also making plans. Uh, maybe you're going to be taking some kind of business trip soon uh, and you're you're planning your next move, really. So in the past, dealing with a lot of problems over here and, uh, you know, every time one problem ends, something else comes in. So there is financial success uh, with this card, but you have a lot of problems and that has led to maybe a bit of loss going on over here. And you've had to watch your finances pretty carefully. Uh, there's some kind of um, choice that you have um, to make about what to do next. So maybe there's a job offer coming in for you and maybe working. Maybe this is a... a um, uh, you know, having a choice about who you want to work with, who you get along better with, uh, because these jobs usually signify, you know, people, and this is about trying to work with somebody and trying to decide which is the best uh, option to choose, or which person is the best person to work with. So you had to make a decision about who you want to work with and, you know, uh, whether you get along with this person or whether you and this person are productive with each other. So going into the future, this is about focusing a lot on your work, doing a lot of studying and uh, putting things uh, into play and, um, you know, trying to get it to work. So this is what you will be doing, uh, very focused on your work and, you know, maybe doing a lot of research, a lot of studying and maybe starting a new project and seeing how it progresses. Um, there's a lot of uh, meetings, uh, so meeting people. Maybe there's a new contract that will be signed as well between you and, and a company. Or maybe you're putting your idea forward uh, to them and you might be signing a new contract um, but also a lot of collaboration going on as well. So meeting a lot of people, starting new projects, and maybe signing new contracts there and letting go of the past. So you, you might be walking away from an old job situation. Maybe there was a lot of, you know, you were not earning very, very well in this. You've got this um, bull, which always signifies money deep within the water over there. So there might have been, you know, some loss going on over here. You're not making uh, that much of money in it. Uh, maybe this is why you're making plans to actually move. And, uh, you know, it looks like that old job is something that you might be giving up uh, and uh, moving on from it. So something's not really working out for you within that particular position that you're in. And, you're, you know, maybe uh, you may have even lost your job or, you know, lost uh, business partnership. This is a card of loss, uh, so maybe this is why you're going to be making plans to move forward. Uh, you will start work again, so you will need to open up channels of communication, collaborate a lot, put your CV out there, uh, make sure that, you know, you, um, you show that you can do this particular job, and this is how you will attract something new to you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the Pagan Tarot, and I'm just going to do the main read with it.
Okay, so you've got the Elder of Wands over here, and this could be, you know, a fire sign person that you're dealing with, but this is also a business person that might be offering you some kind of new job. You can see this wand is in his hand, um, and it could be uh, that they're offering you uh, something new. They're considering you for a new post. So you might be going for some kind of interview right now, or you might be putting your CV out there and somebody's taken note of it, and, uh, you know, they want to help you move forward. So there might be that job offer that is coming in for you. So you've been assessing your finances quite a bit. So feeling very stuck, not being able to move forward. But with the Eight of Wands, things are going to start moving forward for you. You've done quite a good financial assessment about what your situation is. You've been going through your bills and checking up your money as well. And uh, you've been doing a lot of research as well, doing a lot of networking. You've got the Three of Wands over here. So you've been putting yourself out there, putting um, you know your CV out there and trying to get people to be interested in you. Now with this... Uh, King Elder of Wands, it looks like somebody has seen it and has taken note of, of, uh, of it and they might be putting an offer forward to you because things are going to start moving on and it's to do with a new project, new collaboration. You might even be traveling. There's a lot of internet communication going on over here and you know you can see this person's ringing um, things in this newspaper so you might be looking for this new job and putting out this uh, information into you know on computer, on, on the internet or even you know just putting your CV out there and it looks like somebody's going to be interested in you. So in the past, you've got the initiative chalices. There looks like there was some kind of offer that was made and maybe an offer for learning as well that has come in for you that you have been considering. Or maybe, you know, um, you've been looking for that offer or waiting for that offer to come in. You've got the elder of chalices over here and it looks like there is some kind of offer that has come in for you. Uh, and it might involve some further study as well. It's coming in the last few months. Maybe this is something that you are considering or you're thinking about actually going on and doing. Uh, you've got the, you know, the initiative is the idea and the elder is, uh, you know, where you have uh, this offer coming in. It's, it seems to be a firm offer. Like I said, it could be uh, involving further study as well. So something that involves you training on the job as well and becoming an expert at it. At it. This person, the elder of Chalice, is the offer is pretty good. It's a pretty stable offer and, you know, it... Um, you know, uh, it's going to have a good payoff at the end. And maybe this is what you've been doing, putting your CV out there and trying to attract, uh, you know, the best possible offers. You've been certainly working a lot. You are determined and you are very, very focused on what you want to do. You're working a lot with um, information as well. So that's where your mind has been. Uh, and this is, uh, you know, what your focus has been on work and trying to get in this job that pays well. So going into the future, you've got the Emperor card over here. So something is coming in for you. Uh, it's a position of authority. It means that you'll be supervising a lot of people as well and working with a lot of different kind of people. In, in, in some form, it's, it's kind of a, a job that uh, requires you to manage resources, uh, communicate to a lot of people, manage resources, take charge of a situation. So that is coming in for you, a position of authority. Um, you've got the death card over here, so you ended an old situation and you're moving on to something new. So uh, you transformed, really. So, um, you know, whatever ha happened, you've t taken a lot of lessons and whatever that experience is has changed you quite a bit and you are now moving on. The death card is ending off an old situation and it's definitely moving on to something brand new. Now, you've got the four of pentacles. You are really worried about money, so you are saving as much as possible and trying to live as meagerly as possible. This person is trying to get the cheapest things off the shelf over there. So you are really watching your money and taking you know because you can see you're actually counting coins and seeing the bills trying to make ends meet uh, maybe you're in between jobs at the moment and this is why you have to watch all the pennies right now so you want something brand new to come in so this is a um, uh, two of ones make, trying to make a decision about which way you want to go forward uh, you know leaving the past behind taking some new idea and moving forward so that's what you want something brand new to come in but you want to move forward now, you've got the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Magician card. So, the Eight of Swords, feeling very stuck, feeling very, very, uh, you know, uh, powerless, really, in this particular situation. But even though you're feeling very powerless, there is support coming in for you. So, there are, are going to be people that will help you, will lend that helping hand in this situation. The Seven of, seven of Swords is just be, be aware that, you know, uh, the situation that you're in, uh, you know, might involve, uh, you know, a bit of deception going on over there. There might be theft or loss going on there so just be careful watch your back uh you know make sure that you know people are not making false promises to you um you know the seven of swords is about you know uh 
um, something underhand going on. So, you know, step away from that kind of situation. Uh, don't get involved in anything illicit, uh, for sure, um, because it's not going to bring in any any good rewards. Um, but, you know, there, there are people around you not really watching your back, uh, people that are out there to bring you down. So be aware that, you know, you don't have all the support that you are hoping for. People are not as nice as you think they might be. Then you've got the Magician card over here. So this is a really good card. It's beginning something brand new. You've got the Pentacles, which is the focus here. And this is you're going to be able to bring that job to you. So whatever this uh, offer that's coming in is going to be concrete. It's going to be, you know, something that you can do. And you're going to. it's definitely going to involve a lot of information because the Magician is ruled by uh, Mercury. So a lot of information, a lot of studying. But it's also going to mean that you're going to be very, very busy. Uh, and you're going to be multitasking. So maybe working late hours as well so this job is going to take a lot of effort on your part and you're going to have to be very focused on it but you will be able to manifest it's a job that involves a lot of communication like i said with this um Emperor card, it's something that, uh, you know, you take charge of a situation, communicate with a lot of people, uh, manage resources. So it's it's almost, you know, it's a management course. You have all the skills that you you need to actually cope with this. So make sure that you're putting it out there, that you are uh, pretty trained up and you have everything you need to be able to uh, do this particular job. Make sure that uh, that comes across very clearly in your interviews or in your CVs as well. So you have to act with confidence. Um, so the this is the fairy tarot for the oracle read, and the first card is the empress, which is saying take t a time to take action, the power of creativity, success that allows for a like of luxury. So you have to be very proactive in this. You can't sit on your laurels and expect things to come to you. The magician is also a card about taking action and being very hands on the job um, because Mercury rules the hands. So you have to uh, you know make sure that you are doing something, making things happen for yourself. And you've got the Six of Autumn over here who says the uh, good you do comes back to you, an unexpected inflow of money, money uh, borrowing wisely or repaying a debt. So there is some kind of financial assistance coming in or some kind of assistance in the form of maybe advice coming in for you. Uh, and, you know, it's something that you never expected. So if you're having financial problems, that money will come in. You might even, you know, win the lottery. Uh, so this is something to, uh, you know, uh, note that, you know, if you need to borrow money, that will be made available for to you but money is going to be made available to you if you're going through some kind of financial problems you know especially since you know you are having to watch every penny here but there looks like there's money coming in as well then you've got the unity card which is the hierophant which says do the right thing for the right reason compare traditional versus new approaches to see which works for you a spiritually minded community so you know the Emperor is somebody who rules a community. So you might be taking a job that works with a community of people where you have to manage resources, manage people, manage events. Uh, and, you know, there might be some teaching role that you take on as well within the situation. Uh, and you might need to, you know, make sure that you're doing some research, research with this hermit card and updating all your skill sets and, uh, you know, your um your information as well. So the old situation is now coming into an end. Things are going to start moving. If you were feeling stuck, you will start moving again uh, and you'll be collaborating with a lot of people. So whatever job you're looking for is going to be coming into your arena. There looks like there is some kind of offer that is coming in for you, uh, you know, and uh, it, it is a position that is going to require a lot of action on your part. So you can't sit back and let things happen. You've got to be very, very proactive in this particular situation. And this is how you're going to be able to move forward. Be careful of people being deceptive around you or things underhand things happening and you're not really stuck in that position there is going to be somebody that's going to lend you that helping hand to get out of that position but the magician card is a really excellent card to have because that means that whatever you think about you can manifest so make sure that you're thinking positively don't have negative thoughts in your head uh, because positive thoughts bring around positive manifestations and this is how you will be able to move forward so I hope that this reading has resonated. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.